deep in the heart of the New Hampshire wilderness, where the dark trees stood tall and the silence seemed never-ending. Joshua and his son Tanner set out on their annual hunting trip. A tradition passed down through generations. This expedition was their sacred bond, a way for Joshua to teach Tanner the ways of the wild just as his own father had done long ago. The early morning mist clung to the forest floor as they ventured further into the remote woods. Their rifles slung over their shoulders, they stopped cautiously through the dew-soaked underbrush, the air thick with anticipation. For hours everything seemed as it should. Deer tracks, the distant chirping of birds, and the occasional rustling of unseen creatures. It was a peaceful and familiar rhythm for the fa father-son duo, until something sinister whispered its way into their lives. Their first chilling encounter with the beast, known only as the Pigman, began subtly. Deep within the dense foliage they heard eerie grunts echoing through the trees and smelled a putrid stench disguised within the earthy scent of the forest. At first they dismissed it as the desperate cries of a wild boar, a misunderstood creature dwelling in the shadows of the woods. But when they stumbled upon the telltale signs of the pigman's presence, they realized they were entangled in something far more sinister than they could have ever imagined. It started innocuously, a trail of blood-soaked leaves leading them to the mutilated deer carcass, its insides ripped asunder. The ever-growing sense of dread tightened its grip on Joshua and Tanner's hearts as they continued their trek. Soon they stumbled upon more macabre displays disemboweled animals hanging from the tree branches, their eyes void of life, and the marks left behind by menacing tusks. Each grisly scene painted a gruesome portion of the pig man's insatiable thirst for blood. Night fell, casting an ebony shroud over the forest, extinguishing any hope of escape. The duo huddled together, their weary minds plagued by the haunting howls that pierced through the darkness surrounding them. Fear gnawed at their souls, its tendrils winding tighter with each passing moment. Every rustling leaf, every crack of a twig, sent shivers down their spines, for they knew the pigman roamed these woods silently waiting to claim his next victim. Unable to sleep, Joshua and Tanner embraced their rifles, their only companions in this twisted game of survival. Their eyes strained into the impenetrable blackness where the pigman lurked. Then as dawn painted the sky with shades of pink, they found something more horrifying than anything they had encountered before. Strewn across the forest floor were not just the remains of animals, but human limbs. Skin peeled back in bloody ribbons and a half-eaten face that bore an uncanny resemblance to Joshua's childhood friend, who was killed six months prior in an alleged bear mauling. As the horrifying realization hit them, the forest seemed to convulse with evil laughter. The hunting trip had transformed into a desperate battle for survival, where every step came with the weight of uncertainty. With the pigman closing in, Joshua had to muster every ounce of bravery in order to protect his son, stepping into the heart of blackness to reclaim their lives from the clutches of this malevolent creature. In the depths of the forest, father and son faced a terror that defied reason. A creature driven by a hunger they could never comprehend. As the pigman closed in, 
the forest became their purgatory, an unforgiving battleground where their every move was tainted by the invisible whispers of death. With the remote possibility of escape slipping away, Joshua and Tanner were left with the harrowing question burning in their minds. Were they the hunters? Or the hunted in this macabre dance with the pig man? With their hearts pounding and their minds sharpened by fear, Joshua and Tanner found themselves faced with a harrowing decision to either surrender to the overwhelming terror or rise up and fight them for their lives. They refused to become victims in this grisly hunt orchestrated by the pig man. Survival instincts kicked in, driving them deeper into the forest. They devised cunning traps and contraptions, utilizing their knowledge of the terrain to set a stage of deception. Joshua and Tanner knew that to outsmart the pig man, they had to understand its patterns, its weaknesses. Night after night, they lay in wait, sleeping with one eye open, their senses finely tuned to the faintest rustle of leaves. The forest became their ally, whispering its secrets to them. They learned to anticipate the pig man's movements, exploiting its hunger for fresh kills. As days bled into nights, their understanding of the creature deepened, turning the tables on their tormentor. The duo hatched a plan, a desperate gambit to lure the pigman into a trap of their own making. They carved trails through the dense undergrowth, leading the creature into a maze-like corridor of cunningly concealed pits and snares. Their ambush was a calculated risk, one chance to gain the upper hand against a foe they barely could comprehend. The moon hung high above their battleground as the pigman, drawn to the scent of violence and death, approached their carefully crafted trap. Joshua and Tanner held their breath, adrenalized anticipation coursing through their veins. The moment had come to face the monster that had haunted their every step. As the pig man stepped unwittingly into a concealed pit, a cacophony of triumphant roars echoed through the forest. Joshua and Tanner pounced on the opportunity, their hands trembling as they unleashed a barrage of bullets, piercing the night with bursts of thunderous echoes. The creature's grunts of pain mingled with their cries of liberation, fueling their relentless assault. Only when their rifles ran empty did they retreat, their hearts still racing, not daring to believe they had triumphed. The pigman, wounded and enraged, crawled out of the pit, its malevolent eyes fixed upon Joshua and Tanner, but even as fear threatened to overwhelm them, a surge of resilience pushed them forward. Armed with hunting knives and the spirit of survival, father and son fought the battle against their relentless pursuer. Blood and sweat mingled with the forest floor as they danced with the pig man, dodging its vicious tucks while thrusting in their blades into its hide which with each strike they drew upon their deepest reserves of courage, refusing to relinquish their hold on life. Finally, in a climactic struggle, Joshua plunged his blade deep into the pig man's heart. The creature let out a guttural shriek, its once haunting eyes fading into blackness. The forest fell silent as though holding its breath as the terror that haunted those woods was vanquished. With trembling hands, Joshua and Tanner clung to each other, their bodies battered and their souls forever marked by the horrors they had endured. But in that moment of shared victory, they knew that they had come out of the abyss, 
forever changed, but stronger for it. As they emerged from the dark forest, Joshua and Tanner vowed to never speak of their encounter with the big man. The everlasting memory of that haunting trip would forever haunt their dreams, serving as a reminder of the thin line between life and death. With newfound wisdom etched into their souls, they returned home and to their lives, cherishing every moment and forever bound by the unbreakable bond forged amidst an unspeakable terror.